you are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key, Jesus, is the one that has master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key, Jesus, is the one that has master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. Hello, everybody. I want to welcome everyone uh, that is uh, listening to us around the world right now. I want to welcome you to this moment of destiny on this uh, wonderful day that we are waiting on the Lord. Um, I believe quite right that as we are praying and fasting, I believe that the Lord is answering us at various level in different forms because the God we serve he is not a storekeeper. <laughs> he doesn't store prayers. He answers them. He either not answer it if it's not prayed according to his will, or he answers them. There is no storage, a place where they store prayer in heaven. They answer prayers. So I believe quite right that God, the Father we serve, is a God that answer prayers. And this is the day 17th of this uh, January fast and prayer that's going to end on, uh, on Sunday, which is 31st. And I know many of you have been fasting across nations. Many churches are waiting on the Lord and praying and seeking the face of God to establish the right foundation for the year. And today we'll be talking about release of your destiny the release of destiny or if you like to call it encounter with destiny uh, uh, release of your destiny in 2021 now i want us to know that all of us that are here we are here simply because we want to pray we want to talk to God. We want to let him know that we are here. And we are here to seek his face. We are here to let him know that without him, we can do nothing. And we are here in this moment so that everyone that is coming here could know that we serve a God that answers prayers. And I know he will answer your prayers. Today being the 17th day of this fast, I know that the Lord has been showing himself forth in many of your lives. I know that the God we serve is a God that answers prayer. So I know that will be done. We're talking about uh, uh, yesterday about the place of favor. And you can't talk, it's one subject you can inexhaustible uh, prayer, inexhaustible subject that 
you talk about to be able to communicate the mind of God, the place of favor in the love of any man is such a major force that can turn the life of anybody around. The force of favor is a force that can advance anybody's life and take you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. And will also help you to have speed in your endeavors. Uh, that is why I know uh, that as we pray today, the Lord will show forth in your life with his favors. And I believe quite right that everyone over that is watching today, I believe that the Lord has a word for you. Today, we are talking and praying about the release of your destiny, or if you like, encounter with destiny. Uh, it's great to say to every one of us that you are born with a destiny. So every one of us that is here, please, I want you to know, you are born with a destiny. You are not a destitute. You are all born with a destiny. So that is why I want to tell me, call somebody to join this platform, help me share this message, because I know somebody needs to hear this word that will prepare them for this glorious year that we have found ourselves. It will prepare them and propel them to be able to be all they are meant to be this year. That you will not settle for less. You will not settle for anything less than what God has in stock for you. So let's pray. Father, thank you for everyone that is here today. I give you praise for my brother, for my sister that is watching today. Holy Spirit, move and touch every life. Make it, make it a, 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 a day of encounter for your people. Holy Spirit, touch and bless everyone. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. So I want to say, please help me share this message with somebody and share it. And I want to see your comment. Let me know what you are receiving as the word of God is coming forth. Let me know what stands out to you as this message is being preached. As we are fasting and praying today, I pray you are going to secure the destiny that God has for you. You are going to connect with the destiny God has for you. Let me say to all of you that are listening, you are born with a destiny. Don't let anybody abort it for you. You are born with a destiny. The day you are born, somebody's destiny was born. And that will be seen that uh, in scriptures, how that played out, we saw in Genesis, uh, the book of Genesis, that in the beginning, God created. In the beginning, we see what God began to do. He had a purpose, he had a plan, and he began to obey those plans. But let's see Jesus. Let's see what Jesus did uh, for us here. Uh, in Matthew chapter, chapter, chapter 2, we see here, in Matthew chapter 2, Let's see what happened here. The fact that all of you that are listening to me, you are born with a destiny. That is why uh, I want to say that get this book, Born with a Destiny, which one of the books I wrote. Born with a Destiny, get it. This book will lighten you with fire. This book will put fire on your candle. You are born with a destiny. I heard that word from the mouth of the Lord. That everyone is born with a destiny. Everyone that is born on this earth, they are born with a destiny. And what does that mean? That destiny, you are meant to discover it you are meant to develop it and you are meant to fulfill that destiny. You are meant to find that destiny, God will not find it for you. 
you are meant to follow that destiny and you are meant to fulfill that destiny. Now, understand this. You are born with it. He said in Matthew chapter 2, uh, Matthew 2, he said, now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in those days of Herod, they came, behold, the wise men came from the east, saying, where is it that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, and we have come to worship him. And when Herod had this, he was troubled with all Jerusalem with him. He said, we have come, we have come, Hello. we have come to where is he that is born, the king of Jews. The day Jesus was born, a king was born. The day Jesus was born, a king was born. So Jesus is a king by destiny. So the day you are born, somebody was born awaiting the discovery of their destiny too. The day you are born, somebody was born with destiny inside them. Jesus had the destiny of a king inside him. And we saw, the Bible says, where is he that was born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Three things about every man. Every human being on this earth, you are born with a destiny. You are born as a star. Your star is born to carry a glory. Every human being. That is on the earth. That's why God does not like when people are bought children. When you are bought a child, you are bought a plan, you are bought a star, you are bought a glory. The day you are born, a king was born, somebody was born that is awaiting the unwrapping of his destiny. You are born with destiny trap inside you. Nobody is born empty. Everybody is born with something. And that is why you are a message to this generation. You are a message to this generation. You are born as an answer to a problem on this earth. For instance, the day that Steve Jobs was born, Apple was born. Apple was born, iPad was born. And see how much he has bought what God gave to him to the entire world. See how that made this place uh, 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 a better place. You have iPhone today. Um, you have Mac, laptop, you have iPad. Now, you will see something here that the day Steve Jobs was born, iPad was born, iPhone was born, iPhone 11 was born, iPhone 12 was born, Mac laptop was born, Apple, one of the most successful, wealthiest company was born, but waiting to be revealed. That is same thing that, that you are. The day you are born, a star is born. The day you are born, a destiny is born. The day you are born, Somebody with glory is born. That's what the Bible says here in First Corinthians 15. 15. I want to show you all this so that you can see who you are. Mirror your life from the word of God. God's word is a mirror. You tell yourself, I am born with a destiny. He said it here in uh, in First Corinthians 15. Uh, from verse 41, there is one glory of the sun. There is one glory of the moon. Another glory of the stars. From one star, they fall it from another in glory. Every glory carry a star. 
when people see the glory of your star, they are attracted to it. That was what happened with the wise men. They saw the glory of his star. They saw the glory inside the star of Jesus. And that's why they came, because they saw the star. If they did not see the star, they would not have come. So there are people that will not come to you until they have seen your star. That's why you must not allow anyone to kill your star. You must not allow anybody to destroy your glory. You must not allow anybody to cover your glory because you are born with this as a star. You are born with a glory. You are born with a destiny. You must not die with it. The Bible said we have seen, see what they said. They said we have seen a star in the east and we have come to worship him. We have seen the star. That is about glory. And one star differ in glory from the other. So it means the day you are born, a star is born. And there are things it takes for a star to shine. And that is why I'm talking about your destiny today. You are born with a destiny. You must get ready to discover that destiny. Don't die with that destiny. Don't do, don't come like to this world as a complete bottle of water and die unopened. So that is why I want us to get ready wherever we are. That whatever destiny I am born with, Lord, help me to discover my destiny. I will fulfill 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 my destiny. So begin to pray where you are. Lord, whatever destiny you have ordained for me this year, that destiny will be fulfilled. That destiny will be discovered. Help me to discover my destiny. Help me to find who I am. Help me to discover my purpose. Your purpose for me this year, Lord, let me find it. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, help me to find it this year. The destiny you have ordained for me, let me find it. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me to find my destiny. Begin to pray right now where you are. Lord, help me to discover my destiny. And if you have discovered the destiny, Lord, help me to deploy it, help me to follow it, and help me to fulfill it. Particularly your destiny for me this year, help me to discover that destiny. Lord, let that destiny be revealed to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Show me the secret of my life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, what I'm asking to all of us is this. I am saying this to all of us. To say one word. You are born with a destiny. And don't let anybody abort it. Two people are going to respond to your destiny. Wise men are destiny helpers that God is sending your way this year. Wise men, they are destiny helpers. Every destiny that is born, we need destiny helpers. The wise men came. Some, when they see the destiny you are born with, when they see your star, they want to help it. They want to assist you. But some other people, when they see your star, they want to kill it. People like Herod wanted to kill the destiny of Jesus. Some people, they will attempt to destroy your destiny if you allow them. That is people like Herod. Herod, people that carry what I call Herod's spirit. And I say Herod means I had enemy right on duty. I had enemy right on duty. There are people that the spirit of Herod enters into them. When they see your star, when they see your glory, 
Instead of celebrating it, they want to kill it. Instead of supporting it, they want to pull it down. That is why you must not allow anyone to destroy your destiny for you. If you have discovered your destiny, begin to pursue that destiny. And that is why I'm saying to many of us here that when a child is born into a family, people rejoice that the child is born. But God rejoiced that somebody with a destiny uh, that will be made manifest soon is born. Everything is weak at this birth. The most beautiful baby ever born and not live without protection and care. But the birth of a destiny is significant, important, ultimately reserve the highest level of care possible if you are going to fulfill it. That was the reason why the mother of Moses was ready to risk her life against Pharaoh's legislation that said all male child must be born. Exodus 122. That was why she was very much uh, 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 out to see the destiny of that boy for me because the Bible says he saw that Moses was a proper child. The mother of Moses saw that Moses was a proper child. He saw the destiny around him. He saw the destiny in that boy. He saw the destiny that that boy carries. He saw that that boy is born with a destiny. So instead of allowing them to kill him, he took the boy and hide it because he was the wise woman. She saw the destiny of Moses and was willing to protect that destiny. We saw in Exodus chapter two. The Bible says, the mother of Moses, Exodus two verse three. The Bible says the woman conceived and boy a son verse two. When she saw that the boy was a proper child, he hid him three months. And we also the same thing in Hebrews 11. This is where faith comes in. Hebrews 11. Talking about the destiny of Moses. The mother saw, just like the wise men saw, the destiny of Jesus. The mother saw, the Bible says in Hebrews 11.3, by faith, when he saw that he was born, he was it for three months by experience because they saw that he was a proper child and were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he was born, he was hid by experience because they saw he was a proper child not just a normal child, a proper child. So when people begin to see your destiny, they see you as a proper child, as a, not just a normal child. When people see your destiny, they start seeing you in a proper way. When people see your destiny, people start seeing you in the proper way God should see you. And that is what happens. When people see your destiny, they see you in your proper way. And that is why I say, the Lord will help you to discover your destiny. And when people see your destiny, their approach towards you will be a bit different from someone that didn't see your destiny. Herod had about the destiny of Jesus who wanted to destroy it. The wise men had about it, they want to help the destiny. I pray for you today that you begin to attract a pass of destiny in this broadcast today. 
in this year, you will attract helpers of destiny. Your destiny will not be aborted. You know, the destiny of Moses will have been aborted if the mother did not see it. If the mother did not see that destiny. And that is the reason why I'm saying to you here that the Lord will cause you to find your destiny this year. The destiny you are born with, may you find it in the name of Jesus Christ. The destiny you are, you are born with, may you find that destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is one of the ways here I've been saying to us without wasting much time, how do you discover your destiny? Get this book, it will be a blessing to you. This book, this book, Born with a Destiny. This book, get it, is available where you can get it. If you want to get the book, just tell me, Pastor, I want to get this book. You pay for it, and it will be sent to you. It's an e book. You need to read this. I can't teach all this online. <laughs> so that is why I'm saying to you, but if you want to discover the star you are born with, if you want to discover the glory you are born with, if you want to discover the destiny you are born with, there has to be a place of batting that destiny. Look at this bottle. This bottle, it has a destiny. This bottle right now. The day you are born, you are born like this bottle that came with the water inside it. This is how you are born when you came to this world. My, my, what I'm saying to you this night is this. Don't die like this. Don't die on open. Don't die on don't die as a sealed bottle. Don't come to this world as a star with glory and destiny and die with that destiny and die with that star and die with that glory without being open. God wants you to die empty. God sent you here as a solution for a problem on this earth. You must discover it. That is where your glory is. The glory of God is to hide the thing. The glory of God is for you to discover it. Your glory begins from the time you start to discover it. The Bible says the glory of God to hide the thing is the glory of the king to discover it. You must discover it. You must bat it. And one of the place of batting your destiny is in prayers. One of the place of batting your destiny is in prayers. And before we go there, you can say, what is destiny? Destiny is the revelation of the totality of God's plan and bonds for your life. Destiny is a glimpse of your purpose in life that unfold face by face. Our destiny is packaged in pages of the book. There are things written about you before you are born. They are ordained for fulfillment on earth and are God's original intention for your life called purpose. We serve a God of purpose, plan, and design. So anything that is not in the plan of God for your life, things written that are contrary to your destiny, but they are happening in your life, they are illegal. They must be destroyed by the fire of God now. And that's what we are saying here today. You are born with a destiny. Every house or city is built according to master plan. These are things you are going to find in this book that will help you. Things you will find in this book that will help you. Get this book. It will light up fire on your candle. It will help you. Now, just as a way of prayer, 
how do you discover this destiny? One of the place where and how you discover is number one, you will be born again first. You must be born again. Except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. There are errors that will attempt to abort your destiny. But prayers is one of the forces that move heaven to hinder your destiny for being aborted. If you leave error to himself, he will have aborted the destiny he wanted to kill Jesus completely. Anyone that hear about your star, anybody that see your glory and your star and they are troubled, they are errors. That is the spirit of error. That is how you know error. Error, they are star killers. They are people that want to kill your stars. They are a star hijackers that want to, when they see any potential, they want to destroy it. Don't let anyone destroy your potential. And that is, and one of the way to deal with that is in prayer. There are, there are star hijackers. God will give you victory over these stars hijackers uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to have victory over stars hijackers. <laughs> Every power that has caged you, they must release you today in the name of Jesus Christ. A person star, before I go to prayer, represent all that that person stands for. If it is quenched, the person is in trouble. The devil and his agent delight in doing terrible things with both stars. They cage it, they demote it, deaden it, misdirect it, pull it down, cause and cause people start to wander away aimlessly. That was what they did to Joseph. His brother saw a star. When they saw it and they wanted to destroy it, they saw, here come the dreamer. Let us kill him and we shall see what will become of his dream. Those are star killers. There are star killers. And the fact is that right from the womb, satanic powers can know what a person will be in life, and they can use all manner of means to discover that, and all manner of diabolical way to try to stop your star. But I pray for you today. The star you are born with, you will fulfill that vision. You will fulfill your, you fulfill your destiny. And one of the ways to be able to uh, secure your place, the power of God, to be able to break loose into your destiny is to pray. We saw that in Genesis 32. Genesis 32. Verse 24. The Bible says, and, and Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled with him an angel. There wrestled a man with him to the breaking of the day. And now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hips, and the socket of his hips was out of joint. As he wrestled, and he said, let me go that the day break it. I will not let you go, he said, until you bless me. And he said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel, for your power with God and with man you have prevailed. And he said, tell me, I pray thee. He said, why is it that you ask me for my name? And he blessed him there. You see, Jacob, was, Israel was not blessed until when he discovered his destiny. He was born as Jacob, but it was when he was in prayers, he had an encounter with the angel of his destiny that revealed his destiny to him, that you are born 
you, they call you Jacob, but you are born as a nation. When he had an encounter with God, he stepped out from an individual, it became an institution. Jacob is a person, and we saw that Israel is a nation. So when you have an encounter with God, you step out of where you are to where you should be. Encounter with God, release into your destiny. And that's why we are praying today that you will be released into your destiny on this platform in Jesus' name. You will be released. We saw that Jacob's destiny was meant to be Israel. And that was released when he came in contact with that angel. I pray for you today that as you seek the face of God today, about your destiny, the Lord will reveal the secret of your destiny to you. The secret of Jacob's destiny was revealed to him that day. He discovered he is a nation, not, uh, not just a person. He is, he is an institution, not just an individual. I pray for you today that you will discover the destiny God has for you. And this way we're going to stop this man today. We are going to pray, Lord, help me to discover my destiny. It's in the place of discovery. That is where the blessing of your destiny began from. The Bible says, when he met the angel, and the angel said, thou shalt no more be called Jacob. Thou shalt now be called Israel. Then he blessed him there. Your blessing starts from the place of discovery of your destiny. Your blessing start from the place of discovery of your destiny. Your blessing this year start from your discoveries. As the Lord revealed the secret of this year to you, so will the blessing in your life begin. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is who you are in heaven, but many of us are not that person on the earth. When he saw Gideon, he said to him, he said, thou art a mighty man of valor. And Gideon said, who are you talking about? He said, you, you are a mighty man of valor. Before God, you are a mighty man of valor, even though you are begging on the earth. There are many people that you are mighty before God. You are a millionaire before God, but you are begging on that because you have not discovered who you are. There are people that are, that are real estate magnets before God, but they are looking for a house to stay. Because they have not discovered who they are meant to be. Gideon said, you mean I'm a mighty man? He said, yes. The angel said to him, before God, you are a mighty man of valor. <clears throat> so there are many people like that, that on the earth, they are mighty men. Before God, they are mighty men. But on the earth, they are small men. Because they have not discovered what God made them to be. So he mean. The day God shows you who is seen in heaven, may the Lord begin to show you what is seen in you. The Lord begin to show you who you are. And that is the point of your destiny. He said here, he said, I said to he said here, he said, the angel said to the appear to him, said, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Judges 6, verse 12. The Lord is with you. Your mighty man of valor, and he said, I'm a mighty man. He said, Yes, but you look very weak. You are begging, you are struggling, yet you are a mighty man before God. There is who you are before God. If you discover who you are before God, then the might of your destiny will arise from there. That was the daily life of, of Gideon Church. He discover who is meant to be. And the, the Lord said to him, Gideon, you are the one that will deliver the Midianites. I want to deliver the Midianites to your hand. You will deliver Israel from the hand of these enemies. You are the one that will do it. You may not look it, but you are ordained for it. And we saw from that day, his destiny changed. And the Lord showed him what to do to pull down the altar of his father's house that have been speaking against him. 
the altar. Some people, they are not who they are meant to because there are altars working against them. And we saw that Gideon, the angel told him to go pull down the altar that is working against him. And that is in Judges chapter 6, verse uh, 23. It's, and the Lord said to him, peace, do not fear. You shall not die after you have seen the angel. And as they came to part the same night, verse 25, take your father's bull, bull, young bull and second bull of seven years, tear down the altar of bar, and that your father has, and has cut down the wood, aim it beside it, and build an altar to the, to the Lord your God on top of the mountain. And it was the altar that was speaking against Gideon. It was in that encounter. God showed him to pull it down. The moment he destroyed that altar, his destiny rose. We are going to pray right now. Every altar that is in your father's house or your mother's house or any altar anywhere that is speaking against God's purpose in your life, may that altar catch fire tonight. Every altar. Let's pray right now. Say this word after me. Every, any altar that is speaking against me any altar and every altar where they are speaking against your purpose in my life. May that altar catch fire tonight. May that altar catch fire tonight. Every altar that is erected, every altar that is working against my purpose, may that altar be pulled down tonight by the fire of God. Begin to pray that prayer. Every altar working against your purpose in life, may that altar catch fire tonight. May that altar be destroyed tonight. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to encourage many of us to pray this prayer. That was what Gideon did. He tore down the altars that was built in his father's house. Those were part of the thing that didn't let him become mighty on the earth. But when he tore that altar down from that day forward, his destiny emerged, his star emerged, his glory blossomed. So I pray for you today, any altar this year that will not let you see the purpose of God in your life, May those altars be destroyed today in Jesus' name. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. So I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight, for being a part of this broadcast. I appreciate all of us. Uh, tonight, we are going to continue this prayer, midnight prayer. Please join us the 7 p.m. U.S. time, uh, 1 a.m., Nigerian time and 12 a.m. as we pray for your destiny. We are praying throughout this midnight Sunday. Join us as we are fasting and praying. We are seeking the face of God as the gate open. We are praying. God is doing amazing things. Don't miss it. God is doing amazing things. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. The Lord is going to do mighty things in your life. Don't miss it. If you don't know the link to it, we'll put that link there on the on the on, on my on my on my on my link. Join if you are in DC 7 p.m. US Eastern that time. Join us for the prayer of 30 minutes as we pray to seek the face of God along with you. Don't miss that moment. Uh, connect with us and the power of God will be with you, I'll put it on the platform, on my link. Just click it on your phone, and it will, you connect it to the prayers. And we are back here tomorrow by 8 p.m., the same time for this program. God bless you. And if you are there, you are not born again, take this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Today I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to encourage you, 
join us on that platform and the hand of God will be with you. Please help me share this message and you also see the message on YouTube, Destiny Monday TV. You will see us there. Star Beverly has helped us put the time if you are on the Facebook, see the timing on the comment section for this and they will send the link. The link will be sent so that you can join. You just press it straight. It goes on your phone and you connect us straight. Come and connect with God. Come and have an encounter. Let the Israel in you come out of your Jacob. Encounter with God is what releases the destiny of man. So come to the place of prayer and let's pray together for you because this year, this month is going to an end. Let's pray together. And don't forget, I've said three things we are doing this month. When you give, when you pray, when you fast. Sunday, we are taking our first fruit offering. We begin to prepare ourselves to raise an altar before the Lord today. today. Maybe a one week income or one month income, just let God guide you on what you want to do because the Lord is going to use this exercise to lay solid foundation for you this year so that the hand of God can be established over your life. That this year, you secure the foundation with your prayer, with your fasting, with your giving. Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 18. When you do those three things, you have secured the three levels of action, the three legs you need to walk in for 2021 to answer to you. Very, very important. Get ready with your seed. And I will be showing you link out to sow your seed. God bless you. I thank all of you that are joining us today. Uh, Star Beverly, thank you very much for all the work you've done on the platform. And every one of us, uh, um, my, uh, Mina Darini, yeah. Church of Steta, please join us on prayer tonight. Try and reach out to Minister Wanda. She will tell you how. Rachel, uh, Mama Sarah, uh, Onechi Phillips, thank you very much. Mr. Noma, thank you. Asalo, Asalo, Stella Akoni, thank you. Uh, Paul Common, thank you. Uh, Cassandra, thank you very much. And Matthews, thank you. Mama Jackie, uh, Martina Ali, uh, Bami Bam Grace, thank you, Ma, for joining us uh, tonight. Vicky Shenny, thank you, Ma. Uh, we have Junior Charles, thank you. Uh, Mama um, um, Dickness Kuyate, happy birthday to you one more time. Uh, Biodun Ademo Iwa, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Nana, uh, thank you. Uh, also, Adenech, Minister Celia, thank you. Uh, Mama Jackie, thank you. And all of you that are joining us, we appreciate you all. The Lord bless you for being part of this. Uh, uh, and I believe that the Lord will visit you as you continue with us. The Lord is doing great things and he will manifest himself in your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you on the midnight in the prayer, 7 p.m. U.S. time, midnight here and tomorrow as we carry on with this fasting. God has brought us to this point. It will take us to the end. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. You must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that thing. His master, Jesus, is the one that has the master. Key.